What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chabon Stunner, and I've got some stuff for you. Uh, sorry I've been a little lax with my videos the last few days, but I'm still having internet issues. Uh, it's been, you know, shit, I don't know how long, a month, and they still hadn't got me worked out. I'm working with the service supervisor now who promises to have me squared away in the next five days, but we'll see. But we had some major issues with my internet pipe. Uh, in a nutshell, just in case you guys care, they there's like five major apartment complexes around me that have about 300 units each and we are all pulling off of the same internet uh pipe pipeline and i'm paying for the max on that on that pipeline and i'm getting maybe not even a third of the max right now so what they're going to do is come in and install a separate pipeline just for uh people like me and that hopefully will clear up the issue. So stay tuned. I'll let you know uh, once I know more. Uh, that being said, um, I've showed it a couple times, and um, I have an original, an original um, Airport Extreme from Apple, and it's a great device. But I decided that I wanted to move in a different direction. Um, so I went out today and picked up this guy which is the Belkin N750 uh, dual band uh, wireless router. And one of the things that you'll notice right off the jump here is on the box, it says um, up to 900 megabits throughput. Uh, and the cool thing about this particular router, you know, it's got some bells and whistles, but the cool thing about this particular one is that it has, um, both two gigahertz and five gigahertz uh, frequencies. So if you got some newer products, you can use them with this. And uh, if you, that that use the five gigahertz signal, and if you have some of those older uh, products that use the 2.4, you can. And from my understanding, what this device will do is is that it'll be switching between those five different antennas uh, to try and find the best range for your system for you for not only the stuff that you got wireless but also for things that you plug in uh to the ports and here's a shot of the ports that you will see once we get fully into it but yeah you've got uh, your main uh, modem port then you've got one two three four ports two usbs for wireless print or or uh like an airport kind of uh backup system you can plug a hard drive or something in there and i'm pretty sure those are usb 2.0 ports been cool if they were two if they were uh, usb 3.0s but yeah they're 2.0 ports it says right here on the back so uh enough of me talking let's get it open um this thing was on sale at best buy today for 90 bucks which is why i picked it up because 90 dollars is not that big big of a deal for uh as investments go when you're investing in a router um that's fairly cheap and from what i hear this probably is not the greatest router but it gets the job done and it, and it does it really well so you know when i say it's not the greatest when you start talking about um unleash your network well when you start talking about what you could spend on a router for under a hundred dollars this is a great solution uh you see right away that it has the uh, router setup guide you guys don't care about that let's open it up and see and this is unusual guys um this router came with the power already plugged in and an ethernet uh plug already plugged in which i found which i find is kind of weird i don't know that i would that i like that so we'll unplug it We'll take it out of its double shell here, and ooh, it looks good. Looks really good. Um, it's got a really cool. It's kind of like that that piano finish that the original PlayStation had. Um, feels really good. It's light. It's plasticky, but yeah, it seems like it's uh it, it's built kind of weird. I mean, if you look at it, it's thin in the front, fat in the ass. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's cool, but yeah, as you look, here are those ports. You got your modem, LAN times four, two USBs, uh, if I can hold still, reset button, 
and you got your 12 volt uh, power. So that's cool. Let's see what else we've got in the box here. Other than the things, which is your power and your ethernet, there is a, I don't need that. They give you a little thing to show you how to plug it in to the wall and all that kind of stuff. If you've never had a router before, this is really seems like it's geared towards somebody who's never done uh, wireless routing before. I could be wrong. Uh, let me know what you guys are using for your wireless routing. I'm pulling the box apart to see if there's anything else. And there isn't, there's this one CD that tells me I need to run it to install uh, software. So that's it for that particular unboxing. That is the Belkin N750 uh, DB uh, wireless router, a dual band wireless router. So yeah, check that out. Um, I also picked up today this Invisi Shield, Invisible Shield. And I picked it up because uh, I'm thinking about resale value now. Normally I don't rock a, a shield on my iPhones, but I'm thinking about resale because whenever I get ready to reset, to sell or give my wife the iPhone 5, I want it to be as nice as possible. So I decided to put one of these on and I hope it works. It's been a while since I've messed with one of these. Think all the way back to the iPhone 3G. Um, anyway, uh, it says now featuring brake protect protection. This one will run you about 35 bucks. The original will run you about 25 bucks and you're paying for that supposed brake protection. And on the back, they show a, a hammer going at a, going at an iPhone. Um, don't ask me if I'm going to do that because I am not. So don't even ask. But yeah, and it shows a guy, it says shock resistant also. It shows, a, it looks like a female, like a dress maybe. But hell, I can't quite make it out. Or some shorts. But dropping it face first. Um, that's, and that's pretty much it. We can open it up. Shit, if y'all want to look, I, I want to show it if you want to look. And we'll see what's, what's in, the, in the box. The other packaging is black, by the way. This packaging is silver. So, I mean, that's, that's the only distinguishing uh, features that I can tell you um, is the packaging which don't mean a lot of shit to me because the other one looks just like this with the iPhone on the cover uh, we'll open it up and see what all we've got inside and I think we have the standard fare Hell, where's the actual screen shit at um, something something's in this in, in here this is the solution. Oh, this, the, the cover must be in this other little sleeve here. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Yep. There's the actual cover uh, that I paid like a fucking fortune for, if you ask me, because that's ridiculous for a cover. But I bought it uh, partly so I could show you and partly because uh, I do want to protect the device and that's supposed to offer the most uh, protection. It's got some sort of funky, this is like a spray bottle. Let me zoom so you can see it. Application solution shield. Then you've got instruction manuals. You got the wipe me down. And then you've got the rubber squeegee. What's standard with their, with their uh, application kit. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, this is from Zag. Zag makes good stuff. They've been around for a while. So... We will go through the application here in a little while and I'll show you my iPhone, hopefully with it applied correctly. So all I got for this double unboxing, that was the Zag uh, Extreme and the Belkin um, N750 router. Hope you liked it. If you guys got questions, ask them. I'm out. Peace.